Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to Cat Dog Pig Duck Plays Horizons Feed the Beast. So guys, welcome back. We are currently in the Tropicraft dimension. We are standing next to our Tiki Hut. Oh, I, I can't quite figure this out here in third person mode, but here we are. <laughs> no problem at all. I, I have everything under control. So yeah. So guys, remember, we're here in Tropicraft land. We're trying to get the most out of this dimension. So yeah, um, I figured the next thing we should do is we should find some friendly island natives to trade with. Um, the currency here, as far as I remember, are shells. So we need to find a way to get ourselves a good supply of shells. So I was thinking, let me, uh, let me put some stuff up here in these chests here real quick. I went home and grabbed a few supplies, but uh, we can put this stuff up. We don't need this. Uh, yeah, so let's grab ourselves some sand real quick. Hoi. We just need ourselves a good supply of sand. We should use our shovel to make short work of this because we are gonna turn this sand into shells, which we will then use to trade with the friendly island villagers here for neat items and treasure and maybe maybe even some hula skirts. I doubt that last part is true. I think I just made that up. But uh, my, ho my hopes are always open. So yeah, let's see here. We've got a furnace here. Put a little bit of that in there. And we need a little bit of that. So what we're going to make is something called a sifter. Let's get the drink recipe out of here. One thing I did notice is that when you make a pina colada, here in the drink mixer, you get a different drink than when you do in the crafting table. Um, you get this drink here, which just says it's a cocktail of pineapple and coconut chunk. And if you try to use this cocktail in the portal, you will be uh, sorely disappointed because it won't take you anywhere. You'll just sit there and your fingers will get all wrinkly. So yeah, don't do that. Make your pina coladas in the crafting tables. So yeah, let's type in here. We're looking for something called a sifter. Here it is. Sifter is just a glass pane surrounded by wood. So not too hard to make. We have four pieces here. I think we need a little bit more to make a glass pane, but we also need some wood. Um, it looks like we have a good supply of this birch wood here. So we grab that and five. Give me six. I need six pieces of glass, please. Thank you. So yeah, um, we're waiting for glass. What fun. There we go. Six pieces of glass. Hooray. All right, so we'll fashion these into some fancy glass panes. Put those in the middle. Surround it with wood. And we've got ourselves a sifter. Very cool. Where should we put this? Let's put it right here. Get this damn thing out of the way. And what you do with the sifter is you just put pieces of sand in it. And check it out. The sand is spinning around like crazy. I don't know how that actually spins, but you let it sit there long enough and it will spit out shells. Uh, you'll get like all kinds of different shells. It looks like it's slowing down. Are you slowing down? Hello? Jindobre? Huh. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy to produce some shells. And what I'm going to do off camera is put a ton more sand in this. There we go. It spits out this stuff called purified sand and then gives you some stinky old shells so check this out you, you have shells and you can put them on the wall they look a little buggy um, so don't put them on the wall I guess if you had an item frame they might work better in that so let's take a look at it here we've got a starfish um, did we get any other shells or oh here we go we got some something called a what do you call this a solonox I don't know that's a weird one I don't know my shells. So guys, I'm going to sift a bunch of sand, collect myself a bunch of shells, and then what we're going to do when we have these shells is we're going to go find a friendly, some friendly inhabitants of Tropicraft land and trade with them for goods and wares. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back and while we are waiting for all this sand to sift, I made myself another sifter. And as you can see, we are collecting a lot of shells. Here are the four types I've gotten so far. Something called a frox conch, uh, a solenox shell, 
uh, a starfish, which is obvious, um, and something called a pab. I'm not sure what a pab is, but I know what a conch shell is, and I know what a solenox is. But uh, this pab shell, have, have it a damn clue. So I figured while this stuff is sifting, like so, I would show you guys the other stuff that you can make out of bamboo. So let's get to it. Let's uh, grab ourselves a stack of bamboo here. And let's get that glass out of there. Um, I think we have to make ourselves some sticks. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a stack of sticks. There's 64 sticks. Throw those out. And I think you can make yourself a nice bamboo picture frame. Oh, I bet you have to make it the other way. Yep, you don't use sticks for this one. You just use regular shoots. Look at that. You can make yourself a bamboo item frame. Uh, so let's make a few of these because we're going to put some shells in them and decorate our, our little sanctuary here with them. So if we put something like that, that, and that, and if we grab ourselves some shells off the floor, because apparently that's where the sifter puts them, you can then do stuff like this. Oh, that looks really nice. Let's uh, put a starfish here, and in the middle, let's put one of those frock cocks. Check that out. Oh yeah, baby. That looks pretty good. We should totally put one here, but we don't want to knock down our torches. So yeah, you can make yourself a picture frame, and I think the other things you can make are like a door. Um, I have a lot of junk in my inventory. We need to get rid of it. So let's go here. Let's put this sand up. Picture frame. So let's grab ourselves some more bamboo shoots. And I think you can make yourself a... What else can you make? Can you make like a door? No, how do we make a... Let's just type in at trop... Pick craft. Okay, so here's the stuff. Uh, it's a veritable bamboo block door, flower pot block. What is this? Just does this. This really does seem to be just a little bit busted. <laughs> Every time I look through here, I'm like, what are these items I'm looking at? It just looks like a bunch of nonsense. All right, so here's a bamboo door. Oh, it requires thatch. Oh, I didn't know that. So we need a bamboo bundle, thatch. Yeah. All right, let's grab, let's, let's make that. We can steal some thatch from the roof above us. It's not a problem. We'll be fine, even if we steal some of it. Um, we could just make it right here. We'll use some of this, ba we'll use some of these reeds or sugar canes. Da -da. Harvest time. All right, so let's make some thatch real quick. We need more thatch for the roof anyhow, so this is good. Plop, plop. Plop, 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 plop. There we go, bamboo door. Let's see what that looks like. It's not gonna look any good, I don't think, just because we don't have the texture pack updated. So it looks like a little bamboo door. It fits with the bamboo, so that's pretty good. We're not gonna use it, so let's just get rid of that. Did I get two doors back? No, I just got one. It looked like I had two doors there for a second. So what else can we make? I think we the only other thing is fences. Yeah, we can make fences. Um, there was a flower pot, I think, and that should be pretty obvious on how to make that. If I had any bamboo, because I just used it to make a door. I did get two doors out of that. What? <gasps> I got two doors out of that. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if we just found a duplication bug here. Let's recreate exactly what we just did. We put a door here, all right? We broke it like that, and we got a door back. Okay, so we didn't, that, it did duplicate, but I'm not positive how. Okay, <laughs> it really seemed like it duplicated there for a second. Maybe you guys can watch it more closely and let me know. Oh, here's a flower pot. Let's make a few of these because there are a lot of pretty flowers in Trapicraft, and we would like to have pots for them, obviously. Um, we don't have a shelf, but we should make one. Let's see here. What can we make a shelf out of? We should totally just make it out of this wood. This wood looks pretty good. So we're going to make a little shelf here. Bup, 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 boop. Nope. Boop. All right, so if we put flower pots down like that, they look like little drink cups, so that looks kind of cool. So we put this wood back and we'll grab ourselves, look at all these flowers that you can get in this. So we'll grab ourselves one of these red ones, a nice blue one. We'll take this yeller guy here 
And what else? Um, I don't think I can fit an iris in there, but maybe we should try this Akai vine and see if it'll even go in there. I'm not sure. So let's see here. Flower pot. Ooh. Oh, that looks so nice. Holy crap. I really wish. Will this fit in there? Oh my god, look at that. That looks hella cool. All right, so bamboo flower pots. There we go. So um, I guess what we want to do is we want to collect all of our shells here, have them on our person, and let's go find a delightful village to visit. Um, if we open up our map here, we can see everywhere we've been so far. Uh, let's see here. This here looks like a village. So let's put a marker name there. We're going to call it village. Boom, 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 boom. You just got to hit return enough times to make all that crap go away. Oh, there's also one here. This one might actually be closer. Village 2. Du, 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 du. Hit return like 500 times and you're good to go. So guys, I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to go travel to one of those exotic villages and we will be right back. Okay guys, we have traveled and we have found one of the little villages here. They have these cute little thatch huts and stuff on them, and honestly, now that I see them, I realize that I could totally steal their thatch and make my house with it. So that might be an an, an, an idea. We could just steal some of this, just real quick. That way we don't have to grow so much sugarcane. And these guys are fishing crazy. Look at these little guys. What's this guy? This guy's name's Kanani. Kanani. Hi, Kanani. Um, we are we are looking for a trader. Um, let's see here. Are you a trader? They all have these little chests, but there's a very specific one that you can trade with in these villages. And I just hope... Oh, this guy's name is Akaki Akakaka. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be one of those villages that have a trader in it. Yeah, this is a very small village. Oh, crap. All right, guys. So let's maybe see, let's go to the map and see how far we are from the other village. This one doesn't look very big either, but maybe we can make our way over there real quick. All right, look at this guy, he's way out here. Hey fella, your house is back that way. What I'm looking to do is to find one of these and hopefully trade him for like one of their really cool fishing rods. And we're gonna try and catch ourselves a marlin. Who knows what sort of goods they'll have, but I know that they have all kinds of junk. Oh, uh, look at this sunrise coming up ahead. Oh, that looks really nice. Oh, my goodness. Well, actually, I think that's the moon. There's the sun. Never mind that. That was the moon. That's the sunrise, and it looks really nice. Okay, we are, we are getting within proximity here. Here we go. Here's another little fishing village. Hopefully this one has a trading post. Hello? Hi. What's your name? Your name is Nahili. Your name is Kanoa. I have shells, which it is your currency. You must trade with me. They, 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 they have little interest in me because I am neither a surfboard... Where? None of these villages have the little trading thing in it. Okay, guys. I'm going to have to, like, pause it and, like, search this damn map for a trading post. Because none of these, none of these dudes, didn't, especially Kanani here, they want to trade with me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pause it here and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back and I officially give up. What the hell was that? Is that the devil? Do these guys make that noise? Oh my god, that is just demonic. Holy crap. Oh my god, did you guys hear that? Oh god, I hope you guys can hear that. That just sounded like the devil talking to me. Oh my god. But I thought it was cute. There's a lot of these little Ashton hunters here. And they seem to be attacking each other. They have little blow dart guns. And every once in a while they'll shoot at me. But really what I want is their masks. So let's... When you hit them, their masks fly off. And then you gotta go pick them up. Come here. Oh, I've got too much stuff in my inventory. So much stuff. I don't even know what's happening here. Come back, stuff. I want that jar back. Oh, my goodness. What what a what a freaking mess. It seems like Tropicraft is buggy 
no matter what mod pack it's in. When I played it on Feed the... No, not Feed the Beast. When I played it on Attack of the Bee Team... Ooh, I want that mask. Come here. When I played it on Attack of the Bee Team, it was also very buggy there as well. And things wouldn't spawn sometimes. Oh, what a mess. So anyway, I can't find a, anybody to trade with at all. I've been to five... I've, I've literally... I, I've been to almost ten of these villagers... And none of them have a trading villager. So I'm wondering if they're even in this mod pack. I don't know. I don't know. I'm desperate. So yeah, like, um, supposedly there's a couple of ways you could trade with them that involve the shells. And then you could turn the shells into these things called pearls. And you could trade with them with that. But I, I can't even get that to work. So I'm a little lost. Maybe you guys know and maybe you guys could fill me in. Because uh, it isn't working like anything I've ever messed with before. And I don't know what to do. I'm a little lost. So, yeah. Um, one thing I did do is I went into the configuration file. And I turned on these grenades. So hopefully they will work now. So let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, that is hella cool. I like that. Anyway, we're going to basically destroy these villages. Um, I'm not a fan of them at the moment. Because none of them will trade with me. Let's see how far we are from home. Let's go into... M mode and we are so look how far away we are from our base our base is here and we are I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so we've got a long way to go to get back home maybe if we're lucky we'll find a village on the way back or something else to play with oh heavens I think I'm drowning oh ho, ho. don't drown there we go holy crap so guys we're gonna go back to our base Maybe find something to do there, and we'll wrap this episode up. So, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and we are slightly disappointed. Um, we actually ran into two more villages on the way back here to our humble abode, and they also didn't have the traders in them. So, I am very disappointed. Um, maybe I'm just having terrible luck. Oh, my God. That one looks weird. I was trying to put this mask on the wall, but apparently it is a twofer. Let's put him here. There we go. That is a wide mask. But yeah, there's no traders in this mod. Um, mod pack, at least. I don't know. I'm in version 5, and everything I read kind of stated that it should be in here, but it's not. Um, as far as I can tell, unless I have just, like, the worst luck ever. I don't know. So yeah, we're a little disappointed. Another thing we were looking for when we were out there in the unknown was these there's these crazy tree dungeons like the you'll find the mahogany trees but they're gigantic and you can go down the middle of them and there's ashton spawners and iguana spawners and all kinds of cool stuff and loot in them and we didn't see one of those either and i gotta tell you guys i was all over this place look 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 at this look at this crazy whoop i made on my map so not one in all of this and this is a very large swath of stuff so yeah um i may just go you know, do a little research after this and see what other see if anyone else has had this problem maybe it's just me oh my god look at that that is looking hella cool i love these masks these masks are pretty damn amazing actually just for symmetry's sake let's put this one here and let's take this guy down one come here you come here fella so yeah, we're, we're a little disappointed by that, but it's not the end of the world. We've got a lot of cool masks, and yeah, we've got a little bit of lag there, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, let's actually look and see if we can do anything else. Um, we This may be the end of Tropicraft for us. Um, I'm sure there's some other stuff to play with in here, but if half the mod pack isn't even working, then I don't see the damn point. Um, we could make some flippers and try to go catch some fish in buckets, but I don't really see the point in that. Um, we could try to make a fishing rod. There's also these things called an old rod, but you have to trade for these. There's like a super rod. These are all things we were going to go and try and trade for. Red starfish, like these, these music discs. There's a royal starfish. This is all kind of cool stuff that you have to trade for. And we're not going to get it because uh, there's no damn traders. This, this whole mod pack is a trader. Ooh, we can make a dagger. It's made out of a chunk of head and two and a piece of wood. But who gives a damn? That's boring. A good rod. 
We could get a fishing net, which is three string and a bamboo. But yeah, I think we're gonna end up um, we're gonna end up waving goodbye to Tropicraft because uh, unless I just have the worst luck in the world, it it doesn't look like half the mod is even here. Like I want to trade. The whole point of it is to trade with the villagers and get amazing stuff. But I can't even do that because I can't even find one. I can't find one. Oh well, guys. Gotta stop complaining, and we will head back to the overworld with our with our loot. We could always come back here for a vacation, or when they if they ever update the mod pack. I don't know. Seems like an option, but yeah. Ooh, ooh. I'm just so angry that I couldn't find a, a a trader. I was I was really looking forward to that. They have a lot of neat stuff. I was looking forward to finding the record because there's new records here in Tropicraft, but whatever. I can't. I can't get to it. I can't do. I guess I could go mining and try to get some of the ores, but they're just they're just ores. Who cares? Who cares? So yeah, guys, a little disappointing, but we're going to head back to the mainland. We're going to head back to the overworld. Vacation is over here in Tropicraft land. Back to reality. Back to life. Back to reality. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, guys, as always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching if you enjoyed the episode give it a big old thumbs up and until next time guys we'll see you all real soon bye